I don't understand what happened and how it fell through the cracks where somebody could just walk into the school. The couple accused of kidnapping their five year old son from a Rose Hill Elementary School is still waiting to be extradited from Oklahoma tonight. A Thursday, the KBI issued an Amber Alert after it says Danielle Benzet and Zachary Sisk took the boy after a court took away their parental rights. Tonight, we're asking how this could have happened. Cake's Eli Higgins is here after trying to get answers from the school district. Eli? Yeah, Deb, this is a copy of the district's policies and procedures. In fact, there's an, an entire section in here about early dismissal. The big question now is whether this policy was followed and if any changes need to be made so this won't happen again. Typically, they stop you at the door and there's an intercom and you tell us who you are and what you're doing there. April Thomas's 10 year old son used to go to the Rose Hill Primary School, so she knows firsthand how hard it can be to get your child out of class early. Rose Hill parents like Thomas still have a lot of unanswered questions about what happened here last week. The KBI says this woman, Danielle Banzett, kidnapped five year old Brixton Sisk from the school in the middle of the day. I don't understand what happened and how it fell through the cracks where somebody could just walk into the school. In an Amber Alert issued Thursday when Brixton went missing, the KBI said Banzette, the boy's biological mother, posed as a caseworker and took him from the school. It went on to say her parental rights with Brixton had been severed. Cake News obtained a copy of the district's policies and procedures. The policy clearly states that to get a student out of class early, you need to send a note with them to school first. Then it says the parent or authorized person must report to the office to obtain a release pass. The student will then remain in the classroom until the teacher is notified by the office to release them. This policy ends by saying these guidelines are for the safety of our children. The district has been tight-lipped about how the case with Brixton fell through the cracks. But parents like Thomas want answers and assurances this won't happen again and that their kids are safe at school. It's just surprising that it happened in such a small town. Monday, Cake News reached out to every Rose Hill school board member with these concerns and have not yet heard back from any of them. The Highway Patrol arrested Banzette and her husband Zachary Sisk in Oklahoma hours after the alleged kidnapping. Brixton is now with other family. Now, we did also reach out to the superintendent with no response. In fact, I double checked during the story just to be sure we went to the administration building earlier there in Rose Hill, and we were told that he's out of the office. In studio, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.